Hey, what's up guys? So Valentine One has released a patent to basically add some functionality to their radar detectors. And the idea is you can take your radar detector, pair it with a camera, and that's gonna add some additional functionality above and beyond what the radar detector alone can do. Now, this is not a feature that's been announced. This is not yet available, and I don't know when it's gonna come out. This is simply a patent. And in this video, I'm gonna go over kind of some of the highlights and the general idea behind the patent. Uh, a big thank you to Whoopies on RDF for actually posting this on the forum. Uh, I'll post a link in the video description to this entire thread where all the discussion is going on and the highlights, that kind of stuff, so you can read more and join into the discussion. Um, but in this video, I kind of just wanna run you through the general idea and the highlights of the patent. Now the idea is you take a V1 and you add a camera to it. The camera can come from your uh, from your phone, it can come from your car's built-in camera, it can be a camera actually built into the radar detector, or like a, um, an accessory that actually plugs in to the radar detector, uh, kind of an external one that you can move around. There's different ways of actually doing that. And then um, that information is gonna be fed into your phone and a phone app will do all of the image processing for you. Now, some of the things that that's gonna allow you to do, they give a couple different examples here. So for example, uh, let's say you see a 35 mile an hour speed limit sign. Well, if that happens, the detector can automatically enable low speed muting below 35 miles an hour. So basically kind of an automated version of savvy, which is pretty cool. Uh, if the camera sees a radar detector's illegal sign, uh, the app can actually notify you that the detector should not be used in this area. Uh, if it sees photo radar in use, there's a warning for that. A lot of photo radar can be difficult to detect. So the phone can automatically reconfigure your V1 to optimize the settings and, for example, disable some filters to give you better performance in that area, uh, which is really helpful. If it sees a K-band speed sign, you know, your speed is blank, uh, it can temporarily mute the radar detector for all K-band alerts until you're, you know, beyond and past that trailer, which is kind of nice. So automatic muting for speed signs. Uh, there's also things like um, determining where you're located. As you guys know, the V1 doesn't actually have a GPS chip built in. So let's say the camera can actually see there's different mile markers or tell you know what highway you're on, your you know, I-75 South. It can tell where you're actually located. And with that, it can have a database to know the speed limit. Um, it can change some of the detector's different settings and so on. Uh, I find this a little bit silly because you're gonna have to pair it with your phone anywhere for all the, uh, the image analysis stuff and you could always use your phone's GPS right but this is kind of another way uh, that it could be done and they're kind of patenting a variety of different solutions here right now speaking of the phone uh, there's a variety of different tricks that they can do to kind of make this more accurate so for example um, remember how I mentioned uh, it could see like the different numbers and read signs well for example let's say it can use a uh, optical character recognition OCR basically reading the text as it's going by and it can tell the difference between for example exit 31 and exit now to visit Baskin Robbins 31 flavors. Those are two different things, right? And based on you know how this is actually structured, um, it can kind of tell the difference depending on the positioning of the words. Um, it could also tell things like, let's say it sees a 60. It's like, well, is that speed limit 60? Is that mile marker 60? Is that exit 60? So depending on what it's actually reading, it can uh, you know change itself appropriately. There's also things like, uh, let's say it sees the word Walmart. Well. Walmart, like a lot of stores, chances are they've got K-band automatic door openers, right? And if it sees that, it can automatically, you know, mute out those false alerts. Well, what happens if you see a Walmart truck with the Walmart logo on it? That would be a little bit different. If you're driving with the Walmart truck, you may not necessarily want to do K-band muting. So it can actually do some... Uh, additional you know, image processing and analysis to figure out not just the text that it's seeing, but also what it's looking at. Uh, a really good example of that, and probably one of the coolest ones I'm most curious about, is in addition to reading signs, uh, it can do pattern recognition to identify basically the make and model of different cars. So for example, let's say it's looking at a car and it sees you know, the profile of the car, the shape, or uh, maybe it can see the text you know, and it says, for example, this is an Acura MDX, which as you guys know, it can be very difficult to filter out. There's no detector that can filter this out completely. So if it has a way of actually identifying the make and model of the vehicle, it can uh, adjust because some of those vehicles cause false alarms. So maybe it'll want to do some K-band muting when you're near an Acura. That could be really handy. How well that'll work, I don't know. Again, this is not a discussion on, you know, they don't really talk about how well it works. This is just kind of patenting the idea. Uh, seeing with dash cams, it can be kind of tough, for example, to read license plates. You gotta be typically pretty up close. Um, they talk about different uh, lighting scenarios and, you know, if you're moving, that can make it a little bit tougher. Uh, they, so it's 
doable potentially, depending on how good your image processing is. But you know, that's a cool thing that they're talking about implementing. And then there's a lot more stuff they're talking about. Since you're paired with your phone, you could take a look at you know what Wi-Fi hotspots are around you based on the SSID and do some maybe GPS lockout stuff based on the Wi-Fi hotspot instead of the GPS and whatnot. So anyways, a variety of different cool stuff that they're looking at here. Um, there's a lot more to this patent than I've kind of shared in this video. Uh, I just kind of want to cover some of the highlights, basically pairing it with a camera and adding some functionality, as you can see. So if you guys want to read through it, uh, I'll put a link to this patent down in the video description so you can take a look through it. Um, if you see anything interesting in here that catches your eye that I didn't cover, and chances are you probably will because there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, um, feel free to either leave a comment down in the video section or maybe even better yet uh, we've got a thread here on RDF where people are discussing you know well this patent you can see uh Whoopi's here. He's actually posting some of the things that have caught his eye so uh, same sorts of thing you know like if a vehicle nearby has uh, sideways crash prevention da -da -da -da, you can omit the frequency you know if that vehicle's nearby uh, so a bunch of really cool stuff he's sharing things I'm sharing things and if you see anything in here you know for example here's one if uh, you want to maybe select what part of the screen the camera's looking at. So if you want to say, don't bother scanning, you know, the sky up in the air or your dash down below, just look on the road ahead of you. You could actually potentially on the phone, just select what area you want to scan for, which will help the phone. It's going to limit, you know, uh, the processing that's necessary. It'll make it faster. It could do maybe more accurate scanning, etc. So a bunch of cool potential stuff here. Um, again, I guess one of the main things I'm wondering is uh, one of the features they talk about is the fact that uh, you know, you could do pattern recognition to say, oh, I'm approaching this city, for example. Uh, I'm five miles from downtown Dayton, an example that they're giving here. Maybe you want to change the radar detector settings to adjust for a profile specifically for this area. You know, if maybe certain bands are in use in some areas or some locations you need TSR or was it TMF2 with the V1, you could adjust accordingly, which could be kind of cool. Again, I think GPS would be a better solution for this, but uh, here's another solution that they have maybe using visual learning with cameras rather than the GPS. So anyways, really interesting patent here. I'm here. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Again, I have no idea when this is going to come out as an actual feature, how well it'll work or anything like that. This is simply a patent that they've posted. As far as the actual date, uh, it was filed June 2nd of 2015 last year, and looks like it was made available here December 8th, 2016. I believe this means it's granted. I'd have to look it up. I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, as you can see, uh, this is something fairly recent that hopefully could be something implemented and could add a lot of useful functionality. So anyways, that's a quick look here at this patent. Again, big thanks to Whoopies for uh, posting this here on the forum. And again, I'll give you guys a link in the video description where you can read more and join into the discussion for all this. So. Anyways, it's a quick look at uh, one of the new patents that V1 has in the store. So awesome. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.